Welcome to this week's video on Pythagoras and circles. So this has been a viewer request. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a four step guide like I have in other examples as to how to do any question on this particular topic. So first of all, over here. So this four step guide here, I'd suggest that you get a copy of it or a screenshot. There's four steps here and there's just two other parts here that you need to remember. So first of all, it says you have to ensure that there's a line going from the circle centre to one end of the line. The second step says that there, ensure that there's a line going from the circle centre to the midpoint of the line. This is in order to get your right angle triangle that you're going to do Pythagoras on. You fill in the radius and or any other sides accordingly and then you use Pythagoras to find the other missing side. But the things you've got to remember at the bottom here is that you may need to half or double the value on the straight line. So if you have the entire length of the straight line, you're going to need to half it. It's highly likely that you'll need to do an addition or subtraction involving the radius. So these two can take place at anywhere within those four steps. The best way for me to demonstrate them now is to use some examples. Okay, so start with the first example here. So we've got the circle drawn, we've got the word depth written, we're told that the radius is 5 centimetres, we're told that the line MN is 8 centimetres and we're asked to find the depth. So we're just going to go through our four step guide. So the first step says ensure that there's a line going from the circle centre to one end of the line. So there's a the circle centre, so I'm just going to draw a line to, from here to that end of the line. Step two, ensure there's a line going from the circle centre to the midpoint of the line. So here's the circle centre and the midpoint of the line would be up here. So it's going to be like so. It says, next step, fill in the radius and or any other sides accordingly. Well, we're given the radius, so I know that that's five centimetres. And we know that line MN from here to here is eight. But what it says there is you may need to half or double the value on this line. Well, we're going to need to half it. So it's going to be four. So that side's five and that side's four because the entire line was eight. And then the next step says to use Pythagoras to find in the other missing side. So we want to find this side. So we've got the large side, the long side, and we've got this side. It's going to be a subtraction. So we can say B squared equals A squared minus C squared. So we'll call this B. B squared equals five squared minus four squared. So B squared is 25 minus 16. B squared is equal to nine. So B equals three. So this length here is three centimeters. And we should note this back here. It's highly likely that you'll need to do an addition or subtraction involving the radius. Well, we want to find the depth. So if we know this part to this part is three, but the center to the edge is also going to be a radius. So we are going to need to do an addition involving the radius. So it's going to be five add three. So it's going to be eight centimeters is our final answer. So that is the depth. I'm going to use the next example. I'm going to mix it up a bit. So this example, it's a little bit different. Instead of looking for the large part, we're looking for a smaller part. It gives me that the radius is 13 centimetres and that the line AB is 24 centimetres and we are trying to find the depth here. So again, I'm just going to go through our four step guide. So the first step says ensure there's a line going from the circle centre to one end of the line. So I'm going to go from here to here. It also says ensure there's a line going from the circle centre to the midpoint of the line. So I'm going to draw that in as well. Then it says fill in the radius and or any other sides accordingly. So the radius is 13 centimetres and the line AB is 24. So we have the same situation that we had here. It's highly likely you'll need to, you'll need to half or double the value in the straight line. So this value is 24. So half of 24 is 12. And then the next step is to use Pythagoras to find the other missing side. So again, we've got the 
hypotenuse or the diagonal, we've got 12, we just need to find the shorter side. So it's going to be a subtraction. So it's going to be b squared equals a squared minus c squared. So b squared equals 13 squared minus 12 squared. b squared will be 169 minus 144. b squared is 25. So b is 5 centimetres. So this length here, just this little length, is 5. And it also says here that it's highly likely you'll need to do an addition or subtraction involving the radius. So it's this part here we want to find, and we know that the radius is 13. So if we do 13 minus 5, we'll get the depth. So 13 minus 5 is 8 centimetres. That's our answer. I'm going to do another couple of examples with you. So we have another couple of different examples here, and we're going to apply the same set of rules. So we look at this one here, and of course we have to make sure that there's a line going from the circle centre to one end of the line. So circle centre to one end. You could have done it to that end, but we're doing it to that one. Then we have to ensure that there's a line going from the circle centre to the midpoint of the line. So the circle centre to the midpoint. Step three, fill in the radius and or any other missing sides. Well, we know that the radius is 15 centimetres. And to work out these other sides, we might need to look at the bottom part here. It says you may need to half or double the value in the straight line. It's highly likely that you, you will need to do an addition or subtraction involving the radius. Well, if we know the radius is 15, and we know that this part is 6, so if the length from here to here is 15, and the length from here to here is 6, we can just do 15 minus 6, and that will get me the length of this side here. So we've got that one. And then we need to use Pythagoras to find the other missing side. So we want to get this side here. So to do that, we've got b squared equals a squared minus c squared. So we've got 15 squared, b squared equals 15 squared minus 9 squared. I might just abbreviate this one for us. b squared is 225 minus 81. So b squared is 144. So b, the square root of 144 is 12. So b is equal to 12. So this length here is 12 centimetres. And what we're advised there, so we're trying to get KL. So we're trying to get the length going all the way from here to here. You may need to double or half the value in the straight line. Or we're going to need to double it to get the entire length. Because that bit's 12, so the entire length will be 12 out of 12, which is 24 centimetres. So K to L is 24 centimetres. I'm going to use this example this time. So again, we just go through. The first rule is to ensure there's a line going from the circle centre to one end of the line. I might just go the other side this time. So circle centre to one end. Ensure there's a line going from the circle centre to the midpoint of the line. Fill in the radius and or any other sides accordingly. Well, the radius is 17 centimetres. And we know that the entire height there is 25. What we're going to need to do here, so we've only got that one, we're going to have to go into one of these parts here. So we don't have anything on the bottom to use this one. It's highly likely that you'll need to do an addition or subtraction involving the radius. Well, we know that the height from here to here is 25, but this part here, from the centre to the top, is going to be 17. So if I know the entire height from here to here is 25, but that part's 17, I can just do 25 minus 17. So this is the subtraction involving the, the radius. So this side's going to be 8 centimetres here. And now we can do step 4. We use Pythagoras. So we'll go b squared equals 17 squared, because that's the diagonal, diagonal minus 8 squared. So b squared 
is equal to 289, 289 minus 64. So b squared is 225. So b on its own is the square root of 225, which is 15. So this part here is 15 centimetres. And it says you may need to half or double the value on the straight line. Well, we're going to need to double it this time because we've got, we need to get the entire length. So it's just going to be double 15. So it's going to be 30 centimetres. Is our answer? 30 centimetres. I'm going to do one more example. Okay, so this is our final example. This is our headliner, headline question. So this is a little bit more tricky. There has been some like this in the past paper. What I've actually drawn is a kind of imaginary dotted line at the top here and at the bottom here, just to, to help make it a bit more make sense for you. We're told that the radius is 16 centimetres and we're asked to find the height. So we're asked to find the length from here to here. And so quite often the question it won't even have that dotted line. That part won't even exist. It'll probably just look like that and like that. But we still go through the same steps as usual. So the first step is to ensure that there's a line going from the circle centre to one end of the line. So we're trying to work out the height. Basically, we're going to have to go through this twice because we'll deal with this line first and then we'll deal with the bottom line second. So first of all, we make sure there's a line going from the circle centre to one end of the line. Then we make sure there's a line going from the circle centre to the midpoint of the line. Fill in the radius and or any other sides accordingly. So as discussed before, we need to half this value. So if it's 22 going all the way across, this part's just going to be 11 because we've halved it. The radius is 16. And then we can use Pythagoras to work out this part. So we go b squared equals 16 squared minus 11 squared equals 256 minus 121, 135. And to get b on its own, we get the square root of 135, which is 11.6. So that's this part here, this part here, and then we'll do the same for the bottom part. So we make sure that there's a line going from the circle centre to one end of the line. Ensure there's a line going from the circle centre to the midpoint. Fill in radius and or any other sides accordingly. Well, we know that that's 12, but we're going to need to half that. So that becomes 6, the radius is 16, and then we do Pythagoras to work out the missing side there. So I'm just going to rub out, make some space here. So b squared, if we take it back from the beginning, b squared equals a squared minus c squared. I realise I didn't do that for the last part. Um, b squared equals 16 squared minus 6 squared. 256 minus 36, b squared equals 220, and then obviously we have to round it, so we get the square root of 220, which is 14.8 centimetres. So this part here is 14.8, so from here to here is 14.8 so if we want the entire height, we just add those two values together, so we get 26.4 centimetres. So 26.4 centimetres is the height. So I hope that's been helpful. Please like, please subscribe, please feel free to ask about my National 5 group sessions, and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!